Welcome to Wargroove! We're gonna be doing some Hardcade, or Hard Mode Arcade, to get all the stars in Wolfar's Arcade Run. Now, of course, you know, if you do Hard Mode, you can get all the stars in one go. That's kind of our goal here. Let's check it out. Okay, then this is gonna be really easy. Yeah, let's... <laughs> if this is the same Hardcade map as before, this is gonna be really easy. Wagon, 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 wagon. Alright, so we want to wagon as quick as possible. Our opponent gets double our gold, but we do not care. We do not care, you see, because we are going to steal their stuff over there. Let me see, here, here, uh, here's better. We're going to steal their barracks and just overwhelm them completely. I, I should make a unit first and then the wagon, alright. Uh, pike, 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 I want a pike, done. And we'll move the dog up, be aggressive. Yeah, this is just like all about berserking your way to victory. Ooh, well, he's not gonna block me off successfully. Ha 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 ha. You see, that's all you gotta do. This dog can't hit anything, we're gonna steal their barracks, no problem. And with all these barracks, we can easily zone them out. Alright, this dog's only goal in life is to protect these villages. I don't want the enemy getting them. And one more wagon. Do I even need it? The pike will get there eventually. Let's, let's just build like a knight. Start denying villages as soon as possible. You see, the AI has a ton of gold, but if we restrict them to one barracks, there is nothing they can do, and their unit count is just going to plummet. Hello, dog. I've got one, too. All right. Uh, I don't want them to get any more properties. I guess it really doesn't matter. We're probably looking at a golem a turn. Yeah, let's just... We'll put that there. Is we can pretty much just, just, just bring the knights forward at this point. There's no reason to do anything else. Lol. Dogs don't do much to villages. Yeah, as soon as I saw this map, I was like, ha 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 ha, I win. I just win. This is... This is fun times. Alright, we can take out half a ballista for the low, low price of dog. Very worth it. This dog is not a threat to us in the slightest. I'm just charging forward full speed. There's no reason not to. Let's see. Oh, I'll take this. Thank you. And I'll make a golem. And I still have money left over to make a knight. And we'll spend the rest on a battle pup, because they're fast. Lots of really fast units to put as much pressure on the opponent as possible. And what are they going to do with one barracks? You can't do anything with one barracks. Not on this map. Sedge has 4,000 gold, but no way to spend it. It's like... <laughs> There's nothing they can do. I can just attack forward with everything. I don't have to be careful. I don't have to be considerate. I could just keep my units here right in their path. It, it does not matter. Let's charge the enemy full speed ahead. Dogs and knights and just everything. Alright, and I can't afford another golem. I'm going to make a knight. Just, just spamming the knights and then everything else dogs. There's really nothing they can really do that knights and dogs can't fix. Like, are you going to pike spam with that much gold? I think not. And even if they did pike spam, I'd still overwhelm them. They're, 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 just, they're just coming in, but they, they can't touch me. Can't touch this. Nyeh, 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 nyeh. All right. Going to move a little bit out of the way. Knight crit their knight. Let's go around. Uh, I think it's tea time, don't you? Yeah, I, I definitely think it's tea time. Be off with you! Off with you. Boom! I don't even know, like, if, if it's all gonna be like this, this will be over very quickly. Just tons of damage everywhere. Everywhere damage. I, I can let the knights take counterattack damage from things. It, it doesn't matter. We'll, we, like, we just attack. Attack, attack. Attack is the correct answer to every problem here. All right. We have swarmed them. We're moving everything forward. Um, I should build even more knights, but I'm just going to build a golem because I'm getting impatient and I want to end this. This is this is pretty straightforward. This is this is pretty straightforward. 
Remember, all you have to do on this map is just cheese that barracks. That's it. Cheese your way to victory. Uh, can I die here? No, I cannot. Hmm. Be gone with you, dog. You are in my way, good sir. Alright. We'll take that. We'll take that. <laughs> We're just destroying everything in sight. Boom! Like, really, there, there's nothing Sedge can build to stop this. And I still have all these dogs. I've got this wagon. It, this is this is beyond GG. I don't even have to move the rest of the dogs. I can just be like, all right, I'm done. You're up. No, my wagon. Sedge is running away from me. Like, how badly do you have to be winning so that Sedge runs away from you? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much just trying to wrap up at this point. The reason I'm going for the barracks and not the stronghold is because I can only hit the stronghold with, like, one thing a turn. And I just want to end this. You could probably hit the stronghold, too. I'm going to use the, the giant on the stronghold, and it'll be two turns, which is about the same. Yada, yada, yada. All right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. This is showing a little bit of disrespect to Sedge here, just ending my turn randomly. But, like, it's it's over. There There's no... He didn't even build. Like, Sedge knows this is over so much, he didn't even build anything. Boom. Boom. Yeah, I, I guess I could have saved a turn by attacking it. And, yep. We're just gonna end here. Alright, guys, I think I'm gonna fast forward through this. This is just... This is just a slaughter. And he's done. Nice. Very easy, very win. Like, hard mode, no problem if you follow these strategies. Alright, this one is a little bit tougher, because we have limited production, we can't really steal the enemy's production so easily. So because of that, it's not like we're gonna get that quick, cheesy win. That being said, there are definitely some things we can do. For one thing, because income is limited, we don't want them to get this village. So I'm going to be a little bit aggressive and start baiting Ragna very hard. Um, let's build a pike. I want a pike. Yeah, so she goes for me and not the village right away. I'm going to grab this and then move around Ragna and attack her again. Great. Now I can advance this pike. Um, they have a ranger, which is a little scary, so I'm going to build a knight to counter that. Yeah, just out of my range, but that's a-okay. Because this is what I really wanted. This village. Alright, if we take a look at the map now, they're only 200 above me. So, I've pretty much caught up on income as far as playing against a computer is concerned. Yeah, I'm in your range, but it's, it's fine. And we're gonna build an alchemist, and we're gonna stop there. They go for the commander anyway, so Wolfar makes great bait, just don't lose him. That's the main thing. Hmm. Well, on the grounds of not losing him, I'm going to stand on this and heal. Nice. And let's see what is best to attack. This, this. We can just deal tons of damage. Great. And move forward. Uh, these alchemists are doing work. I'm going to build another. They're fast. They can heal. They deal with air units. Whoa, a dragon. Alright, so we're going to have to be a little bit careful now, because they are getting to the point where they can hurt me, but I'm just going to recapture this and then heal Wolfar again. Uh, yeah, let's stay on the mountain where it's nice in defense. Good, alright. I can pretty much just go in and take everything out. I've got lots of air units. Doing great. We'll just take out the dog, because that's really low. They can't defeat Wolf Arwell, he's on the mountain like that. And I'm just going to keep spamming alchemists, because the computer's building nothing but air units. See, I'm fine. And because they keep taking that out, I can keep taking it back and giving Wolfar more health. Convenient, right? I'm just ignoring this dragon. I'm like, hey, dragon, I, I, I'm going to let you do whatever you want. I do not care. It's okay, go ahead. You be you, man. All right, um... 
I'm going to do big damage to the archer and the barracks, because if I can get rid of the barracks, they will only have air units, and they will completely fall to my alchemists. Another great reason to build alchemists, you can heal your dear wolfars. Alright, let's take that guy out. Boom! Nice. And I feel like teeing off, don't you? I'm going to tee off my unit over here. Get rid of that archer, do some damage to Ragna. Now we can just take out this barracks and steal it for ourselves. Ha ha ha. They can only make air units now, and I have their rookery surrounded by alchemists. This is game over, we'll just keep making nothing but alchemists until we can end the game. Ragna is just running away from me. She is, like, super scared at this point. Alright, I think we also want to take out this rookery if we can. Um, let's keep Wolfar high on health, though. Alright, pretty good. And, yeah, I'm just gonna deal tons of damage. Uh, we'll stay there. I'm gonna build a knight so I can start hitting the stronghold. Move the alchemists up. We're just pretty much playing it safe at this point. The game is most probably won. And Ragna's too scared to go anywhere near us. Yeah, another dragon. But that's fine, we got this. Use the forest tiles for alchemist crits. Mountains too, they're pretty good like that. I know the dragon can't kill me, so I'm just going to take this out. And bop the dragon. Steal it for myself. We're good to go. I'm just going to start attacking this thing as much as possible everywhere I can. Build another one of these knights. We're just trying to end the game now. And we'll move over here. Alright, good. Ragna can't build anything anymore. She can just keep attacking Wolfar, but it's pointless because I'm just going to keep healing him. And uh, yeah, we can end the game now. Boom. Done. Alright, great. Hardcade is no problem for sneaky players. Alright, let's move on to the next map. Sigrid. Let's take down Sigrid. Ooh. Ooh, this is very sandy. So much sand. Alright, so we definitely want to secure these ports and these ports. We want to take the top and the bottom, again, to just keep control of unit count. The unit count must be ours. That is our objective. We're going to throw Wolfar forward. It really doesn't matter because he's getting in a wagon anyway. Remember, you want early wagons on these big, big maps with lots of roads and production facilities because those wagons are going to be what helps you stay ahead. All right, we're going to move Wolfar up here and try to secure that port. Now, I've got a ton of gold, but I'm still going to make another wagon because transportation is the most important thing to me right now. You see, they're not making wagons, so we can do crazy stuff like this and steal that port before they even get there. This sword can slowly take ours, and then we'll have both ports on top. Great, right? The sword is going to go down here, a perfect position so that I can wagon him over here, and we'll take the bottom port too. That'll give us all the ports, so we can just go ahead and spam golems now. Pretty easy. Sigrid has, like, infinite money, but it's the same as before, because Sigrid only has one production facility, there's really nothing they can do to threaten us. And I can just march forward with a golem every single turn. Really, I don't even need the ports. I just need to stop Sigrid from getting the ports. That's really, like, my only objective. And since Sigrid is not spamming golems, and I am, well, victory for me. Because think about it. Every turn Sigrid doesn't make a golem, I am one golem ahead of Sigrid. Crazy, right? Alright, um, Wolfar can just stay capturing properties here. I don't need that port. We just wanted to take theirs away. If we throw Merfolk in here, we can backdoor the stronghold pretty easily. Boom. So, let's build a sword, because we might lose this village. I want it back when we do. Um, this isn't really threatened yet, so uh, I'm going to take it anyway. I'm going to take it anyway, and we're going to move the wagon. We'll, we'll keep it here, because it can block off. 
All right, great. I'm going to go ahead and make that merfolk. Although, you know what? On second thought, I'm going to make a warship because a warship can snipe that barracks and then they can't build anymore. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Good plan. Yeah, they made a treb to counter my warship, but trebs don't actually counter warships. You'll see what I mean. Alright, so we can use this warship to take out that dog, no problem. Though, I probably could have done it with Wolfar, but meh. We'll stick him there. Alright. I'm just gonna have this giant... I mean, yeah, I'm gonna ignore their sword, because they can't hurt anything. We'll use my sword to retake that village. We're in pretty good shape, and I'm gonna start making merfolks now. The idea is that... If the battleship can't reach the stronghold, the merfolks can go around and hit it. The battleship takes out the barracks. They can't build. I'm going to win in just a few turns. Pretty easy. Let's make a knight because we have some extra gold. And you might have noticed knights are great for dominating aggression. And I like dominating aggression. Ooh, the archer could hit my merfolk. I didn't see that. Ouch. Not that it really changes anything. Yeah, I, I, I can just creep forward and kill everything. Uh, since this merfolk is kind of too weak to do much damage, I'll just take this and build another merfolk. Done. I'm going to start moving all my troops forward. Um, I don't want to put Wolfar in danger, because the only way I could realistically lose is if Wolfar somehow manages to die. And as long as we prevent Wolfar from somehow managing to die, we definitely win the game. No question. Alright, that Treb is coming for me. I'm not really worried, but, like, I can build a merfolk. Why not? It can't hurt. And we'll just get some more income and another knight. We've realistically already won at this point, but let's make sure not to lose and close out correctly. Because, you see, Wolford just took a ton of damage, and there are still things that can happen if you're not careful. Alright, we're going to stay out of the range of this Treb and just completely destroy that. And, yeah. I'm just going to heal Wolfar. We'll let the giant in. That's okay. I'm not scared. And my merfolk will start moving forward. Because I'm building all of this, my opponent has to make, like, siege units every turn. But they can't make enough siege units for all my advancing giants. I'm even stealing their villages now. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty crazy. Alright, we're going to move this sword forward. Make another merfolk, make another merfolk. I'm just going to spam merfolks on both sides. And then all these wonderful merfolk are going to backdoor their HQ. Great. Uh, we have a little bit of extra gold, but let's not use it. I want a giant next turn. Yeah, they can keep attacking me all they want. Like, they went for the village instead of my troops. I, I love when the AI does that because it's like, oh, thank you. I did not want you to hit my troops. Alright, Gollum hit on the trebuchet, nearly destroys it. Gollum hit on the archer, does destroy it. We can pretty much take this thing out now. I might just try to kill Sigrid if this keeps up. Oh yeah, Wolfar, let's, let's just gulf the giant into the ocean. Be off with you. Boom, done. If you ever have trouble with Hardcade, just ask your local Sneaky Dragon for assistance. Tutorials for every map, guys. Every map. Like, we, we are cheesing our way through this Hardcade so fast, it looks like it's easy mode. Can you tell that this isn't easy mode? I mean, it, it, we're, we're, we're just going so quickly. Boom. Another Golem. We don't even need it, but why not, right? Alright, the enemy does not have long to live, and they're making archers to deal with all my merfolk. But, yeah, our archers won't help. Sigrid has actually run away all the way to the river to try to escape me. Which, it isn't really going to help much. We'll just move everybody forward. Big advance, big damage. Let's use the warship, take that out. Nice. Um, we're going to crit this. Take it out. Giant hits the stronghold. Like, just everything is falling apart. We could even steal their barracks at this point. Lulz. Got it. Great. I don't know. I don't know. Do you think we're winning? Let's climb in the wagon and wagon our merfolk all the way over here for no reason. I don't even need to move anything else. We win. We win this. They're, they're, they're not getting out of this. This is game. 
All right, let's use the Merfolk to deal big damage to the Stronghold and finish it off with a Giant. Done. Nicely executed. All right, Wolfar, let's get you your cello. Ooh, Vesper. Vesper. Interesting. Well, Vesper wants to take over the world? That's not very Vesper. Oh, look, this is a new one. This is a new one. They have thief hideouts. All right. All right, since this is a new one, this could be a problem. We can't use the same strategies we've been using before because, take a look, not only do they have goober income, not only do they have that extra income, but additionally, we start out with all the production facilities on the map. There is nothing for us to cheese steal. You got that? Nothing. Nothing. So we have to move smart and we have to move quick and we have to take advantage of thieves to steal their gold. Otherwise, we're gonna get outdone in a very big way. I'm just gonna build a sword. We need to capture some properties ASAP. All right, this one scares me because we cannot use those cheese strategies. As I mentioned, they're not gonna work. I'm gonna try to cut the opponent off from this island by being super aggressive and forward with Wolfar. Um, I can't really stop Vesper from going for it though. And if I beat her there, it really won't help. All right, we're gonna have to make an early thief. We're gonna make an early thief, maybe steal their barracks or something, try to do something to, to just shut them down. And a sword, I don't wanna miss a build. That would be bad in this situation. Oh wow, oh wow, look at all those units. All right, Wolfar is indomitable, let's keep moving him forward. I can steal this. Vesper's gonna take it, but that's okay. I at least stall her for a turn. Big advance on the swords moving forward, and I'm going to have my thief advance as well. I'm thinking behind Wolfar, where it'll be safe. Um, let's make another thief. And another sword. I think we're gonna try something really cheesy and thief storm the enemy base. I wonder if we can get away with that. Probably not, but we're gonna try. All right, sure enough, the enemy is wasting their turns going for our villages instead of getting their own. That's really big because it'll let me do tons of damage. I'm afraid of the thief stealing my gold, so that thing has to die. Like, immediately. We cannot let ourselves lose gold on this map. I really don't care if Vesper has Groove. She's allowed to have Groove for a turn. Let's do work removing units from the map. Okay, great. We can use this thief to steal this village. Looks like we're in range, and we're going to start moving everybody up. I've got to stay out of the range of these guys, though. This thief is super squishy. All right, um, I think we're safe to make some pups here. We can't afford a knight just yet. Let's end our turn. That's it. <clears throat> Whoa. All right, that harpy means we absolutely, absolutely have to start worrying about anti-air. And we also want to keep Wolfar from dying. Two very important things. So let's go ahead and ransack this to steal a nice good amount of gold from our opponent. We'll put one sword here and one sword here and we'll continue to troll Vesper to the best of our abilities. She can kill this sword, but that's okay. We've been distracting her for so long. It's been worth it. Now, Wolfar does have Groove but I'm afraid to use it because I don't want him to die. Well, we don't want Wolfar to die. That would be super bad. So given all the things that could attack Wolfar, I might actually have to sacrifice some stuff. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to tee off, and I think I can just survive this. Nice. All right, they can no longer kill Wolfar. Mission accomplished. The archer can't take out my thief. The ballista, how much damage does that do to a thief? Not too much. So our thief is probably fine. Let's get it in range for a good theft. And I want to make, let's see, an alchemist to contend with that harpy. Okay, um, we can afford another thief, but I think we're going to end our turn. 
Yep, sure enough, Vesper is distracted permanently by that village, so we're just gonna keep taking it over and over to stop Vesper from doing anything else. Meanwhile, our swords can deal tons of damage to this ballista, basically removing it from play. I could take this out, but I'd rather heal Wolfar. Let's do that instead. Now, my sword is going to, uh, sorry, my thief is going to die unless I retreat it, so we're going to move it back, unfortunately. We can still steal that from here, and we're going to move our alchemist forward. All right, we're doing pretty good. I'm going to make another alchemist, and that's it for now. We're going to keep saving that gold because I've got plans for it. Oof, yeah, uh, the harpy went the other way. Uh-oh, but that's okay. That's okay, we can use these swords that we've been using this whole time to continue to do some good work. Um, first, though, let's deal with Wolfar. Big damage there, nice. Let's steal this. We might lose the thief, but that's okay. Because we not only stole that, but we stole it, if you know what I mean. Let's take that out. I don't want to give them up a property. Keeping these villages under my control keeps baiting the enemy, and that's very powerful. So let's keep doing that. Let's keep baiting the enemy. We're going to bring the alchemist down here so that this thief can move off a little bit safer. It's probably going to die, but that's okay. It did its job. All right. We're looking really good, and I think we've successfully defeated the enemy just by baiting them with villages and being a little bit smart. Vesper hasn't gotten to do anything because she's been decapping this village all game long. I think we're pretty safe to build a more aggressive knight, but I really just want alchemists at this point. And honestly, I am going to build another thief because I think we're reaching the end game and we can just start stealing stuff. Look, Vesper has like no gold because we've been stealing it all. It can't really hurt me. And... Um, we could just keep doing this. We, we've kept Vesper permanently in the bottom here just by taking their gold, like, turn after turn. It, it, it's pretty funny. Not gonna lie. It's, it's pretty hilarious. We're just gonna focus on the units that are the most dangerous, that have the most health, that we can do the most damage to, taking them out one at a time. And we also want to make sure that Wolfar can never die at any point. If Wolfar can die, we've done something horribly wrong. Big damage to the dog, big damage, and this thief can start to return home. Cool. All right. Uh, ooh, ooh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, Vesper can attack that square. Let's not put anyone on a square Vesper can attack. Ooh, I put the alchemist in her way. Well, ho hopefully, hopefully she keeps getting baited out by the village. All right, I'm just going to build a knight for some extra aggression, but I think we've more or less won this game. Yeah, Vesper went for a different village, unfortunately. But we did a great job distracting her for so long. That was pretty funny. We probably could have killed her. Honestly, I just forgot about her. She was so easy to bait. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's just move this knight forward. Great. Great, great, great. <clears throat> Wolfar can go over here, and we're going to heal him up. Because we can easily snipe that knight with an alchemist. Now this dog can take this out. Great. We can do big damage to that dog with this sword. Good. Just doing tons and tons of damage and swarming the enemy base. I'm gonna I'm gonna ignore Vesper, because like she doesn't really scare me right now. And I can just knight spam her down. Vesper can't deal with all these knights. Ah, she got my thief. But it lived! Whoa! I didn't know thieves could live that. Awesome. All right, we have put mode on, but I can just straight kill it, so I will. I mean, there there's zero reason to not do that. Let's take this out completely. Great, they can't build anything more there. They're just going to build air units now, and we have so many alchemists. Also, we're about to win the game. There's that, too. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and freely attack Vesper to my heart's content. Just to keep her distracted. I mean, I, I can just keep knight spamming. That's fine. And move this thief up. Great. Great, great, great. All right, we're done. Yeah, all Vesper could do was build a harpy and take out my thief. Let's end the game, shall we? Just attack the stronghold with your most powerful units, and all will be well. 
Um, I'll use the six alchemists to heal this one so that this is at full health and we can get all the damage. All the damage. You move over here. You can attack that. That's fine. Take this out. And we win! GG! Great! All right. So our cheese strat this time wasn't wagoning units to production facilities. It was distracting Vesper with a perma village. Ooh. Ooh, this map. This map. All right. I love Wolfar's dialogues. I love his dialogue so much. All right, let's finish this up. This is pretty straightforward. It's dragon to win. If Elodie stands on road, we dragon. If they leave this exposed, we dragon. Yeah, this whole game is just dragon and wagon to win. All right, we're going to move this down. And Wolfar can go ahead and capture this property, and we build immediately our obligatory wagon. Remember, lots of roads, big maps, production facilities. Let's make sure the enemy can't get more production. That is rule number numero uno. All right, in the interest of stopping the enemy from getting more production, I'm going to move Wolfar all the way over here and just cap things with this single sword. We should be good. This is C. The enemy can't cross it unless they build a floaty thing over here so if we take this away from the enemy we pretty much auto win it's that easy crazy right now they're gonna have a ton of gold so we have to be careful we don't want wolfar to die while we're pulling these shenanigans um so if i capture this i can't get that next turn one two three four i'd be one space short and I want this immediately, so I'm actually just going to Wagon Wolfar again. The sword is going to come forward and start capturing stuff. It can get this, and then one, two, three, four, get that. So since that sword is pretty much covered, let's focus on the rest of the fight. I think we're going to want a dragon here. So we'll build another wagon to start getting land troops over here, and because wagons are cheap. Oof. Lots of damage, but that's okay, because we were able to get it. Now let's move our wagon to safety. Uh, about here should be good. Alright, we're going to capture this. And that sword will take this next, so we'll move the wagon into position to wagon something to the front lines. Alright, let's take a look here. Um, we have 700 income. I want to build a dragon so I can make something... Eh, I probably want to stay on the cheaper side of things. So let's just make a utility dog and get ready to wagon it if need be. All right, done. Yeah, they're starting to chip away at me, but the ballista went the wrong way. If it had covered this, it could have stopped me from producing air here, but it chose not to do that, so I can make all the air I want. We'll make that dragon and instantly assassinate the alchemist. Great. All right, um... I don't actually need to wagon the dog anywhere, and they're sort of blocking me. So, I'll just put it here, I guess. Pretty simple. Unfortunate. Alright, um, eeny, meeny, miny, let's press forward. I'm going to stand here so that it can't hit me from the forest. And we'll make another sword. Or dog? Yeah, dog. Because I already have a dog, I want to set up some dog crits. Uh, we still have this wagon, but it can't do much. We'll just move it over here. Alright, we're done. Now, a dragon can two-shot this stronghold, especially if we move it in behind the stronghold. This is so tempting. This is so tempting, but we will not do that yet. Because of this thing. As long as this exists, I can't risk that, and this alchemist. So instead, we're just going to move over here and get ready to two-shot the stronghold. In the meantime, Wolfar will just stand here and be like, come at me, bros. And we'll start doing some big damage to our enemies. Ooh, I could have wagoned a dog over and gotten crit. Ah, oh, I didn't think of that. Oh, well. It doesn't really matter. All right, we're going to attack this dude. We will win this trade. Wolfar is doing fantastic. I think we build a knight now for some more aggression. And I really don't want the golem to hit me on the side, so we'll block with the wagon. All right, I think we're good. Y 
Yeah, they're, they're trying really hard to take out my dragon so it can't kill their stronghold, but let's see how smart the AI is. It has to keep the alchemist around, and it did not. The alchemist is too far to hit my dragon on this space. The archer can hit it, but it won't be enough. Boom. Okay, I win pretty soon. Let's celebrate by teeing off a golem into a space it can't stand on. Crap, I can't. He positioned the golem so perfectly. Ah. Ah. All right, fine, Mr. Golem. Be that way. Be that way. I'm just going to tee you off into this archer. Boom. Now it'll do even less damage to my dragon. Yeah, uh, I win next turn. No question. Easy victory. Let's keep on hammering our enemy because why the heck not? But uh, yeah, I, we can just we can, we we can just end our turn here. I, I'm gonna build a knight just in case I've miscalculated something, but I think that's it. Oh no! Yeah, there, there's there's nothing they can do to stop me. I mean, look at this. I, I deal an average of 65 damage to this thing. It's done. GG. Was that the quickest arcade run ever? <laughs> all right, we did it, folks. We did it. Now you two can go on and get all five stars at once with Wolfar. Just go straight for hard mode arcade. You can use these strategies and achieve victory. That's all for now, and welcome to Wargroove.